Good day, Mom. I am Crystal Jade S. Busmion, your nurse student from GH Cerilia State College, Pagadian. I will be assessing ICE for today. Good morning, sir. I am Jade, your nurse for today, and I will be assessing your eyes. Before we formally start, sir, can I have first your basic personal data? What is your name, sir? Jeremy Sarabia. How old are you? 20 years old. Date of birth? April 9, 2001. Municipality? Cagu Satubig. Okay, sir, for your mobile number, kindly please fill up here for your record. Sure. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, sir, how are you today, sir? I mean, how's your feeling for today? Mm, I'm, I'm feeling blessed. Okay, yeah. that's good. And before we go to our assessment in your eyes, sir, I have further questions here and you need to answer it honestly. Sure. Okay, so do you have any history of the following, sir? Family history of diabetes, hypertension, blood dyscrasia, or eye disease? None. None. Or current use of eye medications? None. Use of contact lenses or eyeglasses? None. How about, sir, current symptoms of eye problems like blurring of vision, tearing, um, itching, or pain? None. Okay, sir, thank you. So let's start. We will go to the external structures of the patient's eye and we will inspect the eyelids and eyelashes, note width and position of palpebral fissures, assess ability of eyelids to close, note the position of the eyelids in comparison with the eyeballs, also note any unusual turning, color, swelling, lesions, discharge, and last observe for redness, swelling, discharge, or lesions. Okay, sir, this time I have to inspect your eyes and in order to do that, please cooperate with me. And can you please look at this side? Only at this side, sir. Okay, okay. As I have inspecting the patient's eye, the upper lid margin was between the upper margin of the iris and the upper margin of the pupil and the lower lid margin rests on the lower border of the iris no white sclera is seen above or below the iris palpebral fissures are horizontal as i have assessing ability of eyelids to close the upper and lower lids close easily and meet completely when closed the position of the eyelids in comparison with the eyeballs, the lower eyelid is upright with no inward or outward turning. Eyelashes are evenly distributed and curve outward along the lid margins and are a normal variation associated with the increasing age and high lipids levels. As I have inspecting also, the skin on both eyelids is without redness, swelling, or lesions. Next, I will observe the position and alignment of the eyeball in the eye socket. Okay, sir, can you look only at this side? As I have observed, the eyeballs are symmetrically aligned in sockets without protruding or sinking. Next, we will inspect the bulbar conjunctiva and sclera. Okay, sir, this time I will inspect your eyes and please keep your head straight. Okay, sir, can you please move your eyes or look into the right side? How about to the left side? And lastly, sir, up toward the ceiling. Okay, thank you, sir. As I have inspecting the bulbar conjunctiva of the patient's eye, bulbar conjunctiva is clear, moist, and smooth. Underlying structure are clearly visible, sclera is white. Next, we will inspect 
the palpebral conjunctiva of the patient's eye. Okay, sir, for a while, I will just put some Manster gloves on my hands. Okay, okay. We have also to sanitize first our hands. Okay, sir, this time I will inspect your palpebral conjunctiva and please cooperate with me and look at my eyes. Sir, can you please look up toward the ceiling? Okay, thank you, sir. The lower and upper palpebral conjunctiva are clear and free of swelling or lesions. Next, we will inspect the lacrimal apparatus and then palpate the lacrimal apparatus of the patient eyes. Okay, sir, this time, can you please look only this side again? Okay, sir, please look directly at my eyes. Thank you, sir. As I have inspected the lacrimal apparatus of the patient eyes, no swelling or redness appear over areas of the lacrimal gland. The pompe is visible without swelling or redness and is turned slightly toward the eye. As I have also palpating the lacrimal apparatus of the patient eyes, um, there is no drainage noted from the puncta when palpating the nasolacrimal duct. Next, we will inspect the cornea and lens of the patient eyes. Okay, sir, can you please look again at this side? Sure. Thank you, sir. As I have inspecting, the cornea is transparent with no opacities the oblique view shows a smooth and overall moist surface. The lens is free of opacities. Next, we will inspect the iris and the pupil of the patient eyes. Okay, sir, again, please look at this side. Thank you, sir. As I have inspecting, the iris is typically round, flat, and evenly colored. The pupil was also round with a regular border and is centered in the iris. Pupils are normally equal in size and overall the condition is normal. Next, we will test the pupillary reaction to light. Okay, this time I already turned off the light. And sir, can you please focus at this pen? Thank you, sir. As I have testing the pupillary reaction to light, the direct pupillary response is constriction. And the consensual pupillary response is also constriction. This time, we will test the accommodation of pupils. Okay, sir, can you please focus at this object and look at this side, okay? I mean, just focus into this object, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. As I have tested the accommodation of the pupils, the pupillary response is constriction of the pupils and convergence of the eyes when focusing on a near object. Okay, this time, we will go further to the extraocular muscle test. 
We will perform corneal light reflex test. Okay, sir, please stare straight ahead. Thank you, sir. As I have performed corneal light reflex test, as I have performed corneal light reflex test, the reflection of light on the corneas are in this exact same spot on each eye, which indicates parallel alignment. Next, we will perform the cover test. Okay, sir, please stare straight ahead and look at this side. Okay, thank you, sir. As I have performed the cover test, the uncovered eye um, still remain fixed straight ahead and also the covered eye all remain also fixed straight ahead after being uncovered. Next, we will assess the six ocular movements to determine eye alignment and coordination. Okay, so sir, this time, please focus at this object and follow the movement of this object with your eyes only. Thank you, sir. As I have assessing, the eye movement was smooth and symmetric throughout all six directions. Lastly, we will assess peripheral visual fields to determine function of the retina and neuronal visual pathways to the brain and second optic cranial nerve. Okay, sir, this time please look directly at me and can you please cover your right eye with the card? Look directly at my nose. Okay, sir, in the opposite eye, please. Look directly at my nose. Okay, thank you, sir. And this time, sir, please tell me where the pen light was came from. Please cover your right eye. From left side to center. From right side to center. From upward to center. From downward to center. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, sir, this time, can you please cover your left side of your eyes? And tell me where the pen light came from. From left side to center. From right side to center. From upward to center. From downward to center. Okay, thank you, sir. As I have assessed the peripheral visual fields, it is normal. For the last time, document findings in the client record using printed or electronic forms or checklists supplemented by narrative notes when appropriate. Okay, sir, thank you for your cooperation and time and also for participating the assessment and i can assure you sir that the result will be confidential and further discussed by the professional or healthcare team and that would be all thank you Jade as Busmion, your student nurse from GH Cirilia State College, Pagadian, and I will be assessing clients' ears hearing for today. Good morning, sir. I am Jade, your nurse for today, and I will be assessing your ears and hearing so that we can know if there is developing illnesses in your body and get treated it immediately. Okay, sir, I have already here your record, which indicated your name, your age, your municipality, and your mobile number. 
And before we formally start, sir, in assessing your ears and hearing, I have further questions here, and you need to answer it honestly. Do you have any history, sir, of family history of hearing problems or loss? None. None. How about presence of ear problems or pain? None. How about medication history, especially if there are problems or complaints of ringing in the ears? None. Do you have history hearing difficulty, sir? Its onset factors contributing to it and how it interferes with activities of daily living? None. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, sir, kindly sit erect or comfortably so that we can start on our assessment. First, we will inspect the auricle, tragus, and lobule. Note symmetry of size, shape, and position. To inspect position, note the level at which the superior aspect of the auricle attaches to the head in relation to the eye. Continue to observe for lesions, discolorations, and discharge. And we will perform hand sanitation first. Okay, sir, so this time I will inspect some areas of your ear, which is the tragus, the lobules, and the auricles. At the right side, sir, please. Okay, thank you, sir. Upon inspecting the auricles, tragus, and lobules, ears are equal in size bilaterally. The auricle aligns with the corner of each eye and within a 10 degree angle of the vertical position. Ear lobes are free, attached, or soldered. At the other side, sir, please. Okay, thank you, sir. The skin is smooth with no lesions, lumps, or modules. Color is consistent with facial color. No discharge is present. The auricle, tragus, and mastoid process are normal and not tender. Next, palpate the auricles and mastoid process for texture, elasticity, and areas of tenderness. Gently pull the auricle upward, downward, and backward. Fold the pinna forward. It should recoil. Push in on the tragus. Apply pressure to the mastoid process. Okay, sir, this time I have to palpate in some areas of your ear. Do you consent? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. The auricle, tragus, and mastoid process are normal and not tender. Okay, next, we will go further for the general observation of hearing and equilibrium test. Next, we will perform the whisper test. Ask the client to gently occlude the ear not being tested and rub the tragus with a finger in a circular motion. Start with testing the better ear and then the poorer one with your head two feet behind the client. Whisper a two-syllable word. Ask the client to repeat it back to you. Okay, sir, this time, I want you to occlude your ear and gently rub with your tragus in a circular motion. And as I have whispered the two-syllable words, kindly repeat it after me, okay? What did I see, sir? Nursing. Okay, at the other side. What did I say, sir? Doctor. Okay, thank you, sir. Upon performing the whisper test, the client was able to correctly repeat the two-syllable word as whispered. Next, perform the Lomberg test. Ask the client to stand with feet together, arms outside, and eyes open, then with eyes closed. Okay, sir, this time I want you to stand, please, with feet together, arms at your side, and with open eyes for 20 seconds. Ok, 
Okay, thank you, sir. And again, we will perform the Lambert test with your closed eyes for 20 seconds. Okay, thank you, sir. You may now sit. Upon performing the Rumberg test, client maintains position for 20 seconds without swaying or with minimal swaying with eyes open and eyes closed. Next, document findings in the client record using printed or electronic forms or checklists supplemented by narrative notes when appropriate. Okay, okay, sir, that would be all. Thank you for your time, cooperation, and participation of this assessment. And I can assure you, sir, that it will all be confidential and the result will be discussed further to the professional health care. That would be all. Thank you.